I have spotted those little things on the yellow rose. And I, I never had them before. What are they? Excuse me, this is my rose you are eating and you are not allowed. No. And yeah, this is very strange because I never had this before. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a beautiful sunny day on the lake. Uh, I haven't been at the house today and I'm not going to because my friend is arriving today in a few hours uh, to visit me for my birthday and yeah, it's her first time she's visiting me here on the lake and I'm very excited. We have many dogs here. <laughs> Um, good girl, Sherry. Good girl. <laughs> I know. I was at home all day long and I was editing my last photography project and I finally finished. Thanks, God. <laughs> that feels so good when I finished the project. So I'm free and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, and uh, I have just 15 minutes to walk with Sherry and then I have to run and catch the rental car. I have to do a little grocery. I have 20 minutes <laughs> to make a fat grocery. This is my mission. <laughs> and then I'm driving to the airport to pick up my friend. And uh, yeah, but also yesterday evening after such an amazing news about our little bedroom and the clear floor i i was researching and making a mood board for a little bedroom and it is such a lovely little room it is on the northern side not much sun there so <sighs> i was thinking on a color palette and it has to be something warm because it's always shady in that room and it is in it is a small room so i have found some inspiration pictures show you and uh, yeah also we were thinking our previous plan was to make the basement floor nice and clean and livable and move in on the basement floor but now when we start doing things we are like we realize it doesn't work <laughs> now we have a different plan we will clear and make nice the first floor the whole floor where we have terracotta tiles because it's a good base we don't have to do anything with the floor when on the basement floor we have like 80s 90s um, tiles that we have to remove and and lay terracotta tiles or stone or something more suitable for this house and yeah so for now the plan is to make the first floor nice and to leave there kind of leave where are we gonna move to the house no idea because in Italy um, when you try to plan something you will be disappointed. So to avoid any disappointment, we're just not planning anything exact. So if we are able to move in one month, that's amazing. If not, nothing happens. We stay in a rental apartment uh, for this winter. It's okay as well. But um, I think if everything goes wrong, we will move to the new house next summer. <laughs> so we won't freeze to death. And yeah, also we have all, so all the spare tiles, the roof tiles we had, uh, they all gone <laughs> and we still have half of the roof in very bad condition. It will work for now. And we taped some of the broken tiles with special sticky tape. It will help for some time, but it's not ideal. And we have to find the exact tiles 
which is not that easy because they have been lot so the same uh, factory produced tiles in 70s or 60s since then they there was a different production of tiles uh, and we have them at the house and they're a little bit different they kind of work with the old ones and we are very happy to find those if we are lucky so i was googling where to find the tiles last night <laughs> it's a big project as well because we have there are many not many there are some options in Tuscany, but then I have to figure out how they deliver or if they deliver because some of the tiles I find they're second hand. They're new, but they were at somebody's basement for many years and now people sell them. So we have to figure out how to deliver them to to the lake, to, to our region. Uh, yeah, so it's just <laughs> a little bit boring projects now, sourcing things for the house and yeah this is a little square near our rental apartment love it so much look at the cat <laughs> and I do love the ivy I don't know, there is something magical about those houses covered in ivy. So beautiful. <laughs> also, I wanted to pay attention to the doors, because this kind of design, we have one layer of those horizontal uh, boards on our doors as well on the vertical uh, little little boards and this is something very typical of this region i can see those boards on every second door and around the corner is diff different very popular design i suppose it's and it was fashionable right after horizontal boards which is this and usually what we have on on our doors is those horizontal planks under these vertical things so i think there was um kind of fashion and people were putting those little boards on top of horizontal ones <laughs> I do love this car. Well, actually, this is a different one because it's 100% electric and it is so good. Uh, and if I only could afford an electric car or electric upper, that would be amazing. But for now, I am having a vintage one. <laughs> Okay, let's go to, to do a big, big, fat grocery shopping and then airport. Thank <laughs> you. 